Here we are in Bravely Default 2 in Savalon. We have a lot of monsters kind of bullied into a corner. Uh, let's just uh, strike at them and see what happens. Dude. Hello, you fine looking individuals, and welcome to another Boogie Boogie video. Today, we're going to go into how to master your job classes in minutes. I got a lot of great suggestions for you guys, so let's go ahead and do some of those suggestions to farm JP. And if you stick around to the end, I have a little surprise for you. Let's get into it. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below. It really helps the video and the channel, and it helps me deliver to you more content. First off, to be the most efficient with the strategy, what you want to do is have Freelancer already mastered. But if you don't, that's okay. The strategy still works. It's just more efficient if you have this class already mastered. The reason why is because Freelancer comes with the passive ability of JP up. JP earned is increased by a multiple of 1.2. That's an increase of 20%. That's a lot. And on top of that, you get JP up and up, another passive ability. JP earned is increased by a multiple of 1.5. And they put this in parentheses just to hammer it home. Increases to 1.7 when combined with JP up. So to be most efficient, you combine JP up and JP up and up to increase your JP earning by 70%. It's incredible, it's almost double. There's only one caveat with this JP up and up. This ability takes two slots, not just one like normal. So keep that in mind when you're trying to set up your builds. For the build I'm going to use today, I also like to use Berserker's Indiscriminate Rage. Allows regular attacks to target all enemies at full power, but causes the user's next turn to come around much later, but we're gonna be one-shotting everybody, so that's all we need. If you're not quite that high in Berserker yet, Crescent Moon will also work. And if you don't have Berserker yet, you can use Beastmaster's Mow Down, which performs a physical attack on all targets it costs some mp but it's well worth it but again today i'm gonna be using indiscriminate rage speaking of beastmaster i'm definitely gonna be using beast whisperer roughly 30 percent chance of capturing defeated monsters for every capture you get it helps you increase all those stats for the beastmaster class incredible so to recap here's my abilities beast whisperer indiscriminate rage jp up and jp up and up let's do this so i'm starting off with classes that i have not leveled up at all i'm at halcyonia you need to be high enough level for monsters to run away but this is the very first area in the game so you don't have to be that high of a level just make sure that they're running away from you when they see you let's go ahead and go into the beach and master our classes in minutes For the Halcyonia beach farming strategy, I personally like to start on this little peninsula thing because you can get up to eight monsters. So you get two little flan things and just try to push them away. And that leads into two fish mermaid spear people. And after the two mermaid people, you'll get two more mermaid spear people next to the boat. Right now I only see three. I should see one more mermaid person. Where are you mermaid person? There you are there's there you are sometimes they take a little while to spawn that's fine so now i have four mermaid people but i should get one one more flan should be there there you are finally spawned in but as you see this is pretty easy because i herded all these people from the beginning of the beach they're all heading in the same direction if they get out of line so that makes it really easy to herd So what you want to do is you want to herd these monsters right behind this treasure chest in this little corner. All eight of them are right here. The only thing is you don't want to fight them during the day because then every single enemy unit has less monsters, about half. If you fight them at night, the enemy units have more monsters, almost double. So you want to make sure you fight them at night so you get more JP for your efforts. Lanterns out. Let's go ahead and do it. Easy. Got a capture. Two captures. Two more captures, that's five. Come and get it. it sounds like Kamehameha. Come and, sounds like Kamehameha. So it just sounds like that, it's crazy. Six captures. Oh, that's 10 captures. All right, as you can see, I started from level one. Now everyone's almost level seven, super close. And we gained that from just one battle containing eight encounters. Okay, got 975 that time. Went from level six, almost level seven, level nine. Got two more levels. There we go. Even making errors, you can still get there in about five fights. Five of these mass encounters is gonna get you from level one to mastered in about 15, 20 minutes. In minutes, you can get a whole job class mastered. I have another big JP farming tactic that comes from Lick Flare. So we're gonna try this out in Savalon. And make sure you stick around, because I still got a bonus at the end. Okay, we're here in Savalon. We're gonna go to the spot where you want to try to get to get all the monsters kind of congregated.
As you can see, I'm in the north area of Savalon, kind of near the entrance going to Wizwald. You can bring everyone to this like little nook in this oasis. I don't really have a strategy for this. You just can, can bring people from the like southeast and bring them northwest so that when monsters try to flee away from your herding, they'll head back in the same direction. So now I just want to wait till nighttime. Speaking of. So we got 1,086 for a little more work. It took a little bit more time to get that. So my strategy for doing that is that I get people from the southeast and then I try to bring them northwest. So when they all try to flee, they all try to flee from my direction. So as you can see, I have everything lined up right here. I have a lot of enemies. I don't even know how many I have here, but it took me a while to get. It took me about like seven minutes to do this, but let's go ahead and see what kind of monsters we get. We got 12. Whoa. Wow. Wow. These captures. Okay. Out there in the comments, if you know how to take out these wiki wikis, if you can take them out, they provide a lot of BP. I don't know exactly how to take them out efficiently. I've been trying to figure out like, can I, can I do some things? But every time I try to boss battle these things, they just run away. If you know how to take out these wiki wikis really fast, let us know down in the comments. I would love for the community to know how to take out these things. So I got one. Wow. Okay, I got over uh 2000 JP by getting 12. So, it's pretty efficient. Oh man, for about 7 or 8 minutes for this. But this is harder to do, like a lot harder. Whichever one works for you, try it out. But if you know any more efficient ways to farm GP, let us know in the comments. I want people to know how to farm GP really fast. Here comes your bonus. I'm going to show you where those overworld bosses are. Here's one of the overworld bosses. Pink flower lady, that's two. Huge flowery tree. That's three. In Savalon, the desert area, there's this Galarian ghost ponyta. That's four. This one's a little harder to get to, but this blue snake thing, that's five. Quick tip, I find tents are really easy to farm in this grass area in particular. If you want tents, you can kind of farm in this area next to that, that scary snake. There's another one. Over in the forest area of Wizwald, it's probably super hard to see, but there's a white cat mushroom behind that tree right there. That's six. This scary spider, that's seven. This crimson orc, that's eight. In the snowy area of Rheimdahl, you have this tiny wizard, that's nine. Then you have the scary demon, that's 10. If you need additional help finding these monsters, I have the map right above me. That's all the overworld monsters that I know about so far. But if you happen to know any more about the overworld monsters, comment down below. I want the community to know. And why is finding these monsters that important? Click on that video right there. Thank you again for watching another Poke Boogie video. If there's any more you want to know, please comment down below. Or if you have really cool tips to help the community, comment as well. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.